The story at the border goes much deeper than its impact on human travel. Our impact Earth team monitoring the movement of wild animals along the border with Mexico. One nonprofit has noticed changes in the migration patterns due in part to the expanded border wall. Meteorologist Jorge Torres has the story. It's tight, but this bobcat is able to squeeze through one of the gaps along the southern border, as well as a squadron of javelina patiently waiting their turn. But for deer, no such luck, along with other larger animals. So anything with a head that's bigger than your hand, the width of your hand, not the length of your hand, can't get through. Since 2020, Eamon Herity and his organization, Sky Island Alliance, have been monitoring and observing wildlife with motion-activated cameras between Nogales and past Douglas. In nearly four years, they've documented more than 130 wildlife species, ranging from hawks and jackrabbits to black bears. Sky Island Alliance has noticed a trend. These larger animals really are restricted, and our cameras have documented that, that they approach, they pace, but they cannot get through the wall. With the construction and installation of this stretch of the border wall during the Trump administration, Herity says these larger animal populations may fade out of certain areas, making them more vulnerable to events like wildfires or droughts. It's going to be years down the road where some of the more serious implications of this, of the border infrastructure and its current structure is really felt and understood. The group is advocating for subtle changes to border infrastructure, such as leaving floodgates open for longer periods during monsoon season and adding more small wildlife openings that are about the size of a sheet of paper, making it easier for some animals to cross. Harry says he understands what the government is attempting to do, but doesn't think this version of the border wall is that effective when it comes to its original goal. The infrastructure we have in place is really, really effective at stopping wildlife, like bear and jaguar and deer. But it's really not that effective as stopping people. So it's it's not solving the problem that we think we have. For Impact Earth, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres with ABC 15, Arizona.